So I posted a review of it there. I also posted a link to my Flickr account mm-hmm. that has the uh, all the pics that I took. Literally walking into this thing is like you're walking onto the set of Cars, which is really funny because it's a virtual movie. So it was they knocked. I mean, it's good to see Disney Imagineers bring their A game for once. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I love Disney. I've been a Disney fan all my life. I've been pass holder forever, off off and on, but mostly mostly on. Mm-hmm. And going through there, the I mean, it's literally like you're walking into Radiator Springs. You've got you know Flo's V8 Cafe over here. You've got Ramon's. Uh, Body Chop over here, mm-hmm. Caddy Corner over here. You've got Luigi's House of Tires. You've got Radiator Springs Curios over here. You got the Cozy Cone. You got Sarge's Supply Shack. Okay, it's I mean it's literally it's, you walk into the town. Um, there there are three rides. There's Luigi's Floating Tires, mm-hmm. which think the well okay. <laughs> this is where Michael shows his age again. Think the old. Should I have like some like should I throw like a <laughs> great? Now we're back to more Wayne's World. Um, <laughs> Think like the old, if you've seen the footage of the old UFO rides they used to have at the park, mm-hmm. it's like those. Only instead of the instead of the UFOs blowing air down, mm-hmm. it's the most creative use of drains I've ever seen. <laughs> it's, it's all these little grates mm-hmm. all over the place. And they've got offset behind scenes. They've got two giant fans, turbine something, mm-hmm. that blow all this air up a ramp and into this distribution network that blows the air up. So it's a... Giant air hockey rink. Effectively, yes. Awesome. And you are the puck. Sort of. <laughs> There's a bunch of pucks. It's you and uh, two dozen other pucks. Okay. And they put, like, beach balls out there. Mm-hmm. And the beach balls, I know people are like, why the hell do they have beach balls there? It makes sense. Because right. with the beach ball, people will reach for the beach balls. Mm-hmm. The way you steer these things is leaning. Oh, okay. So it's kind of a way of, like, tricking people in actually Give me the beach ball. Why am I going that way? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. And they start to make the connection. All right. So that one was kind of fun. Um, then the, the other ri- another ride they have is uh, Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, which was a hell of a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, you look at it and you think, oh, God, it's a, it's, it's a, a teacups knockoff because okay. you're going okay. around, getting whipped around. You know, the fact that it goes around, in a, uh, around a disc mm-hmm. – is where the similarity ends. It actually goes around three discs. Okay. Think of it as a figure eight with an extra loop. So as you're going, you're you're going around this thing and you're being pulled by the little baby heifer calf tractors. Mm-hmm. And then you're in this cart that swings side to side. And you go around and the inertia swings you around. So as you go around the circle, you come around. As you come back to the edge of the circle where it joins the other circle, mm-hmm. you change off to that circle. Okay. It rotates around. Oh, here's the other circle. You change off to that circle. So you're doing this big, crazy three loop figure thing hmm. and you wouldn't think it would but it generates some serious inertia i was sitting in the seat with this thing mm-hmm. with my fiance and we're like oh hey this is fun oh hey wham and i'm like oh my god and i'm like oh okay <laughs> so so but it was it was a hell of a lot of fun it mm-hmm. really was um but the ride that steals the show is the radiator springs racers the queuing area is awesome um there's a lot of little subtle things in there mm-hmm but this answers the question, the way I put it in the review is, this answers the question of what happens if the test track ride from Florida right. and a classic dark ride have a love child. Because it's combination speed and dark ride. Okay. So the first part of it, you're driving around single lane, then you go into, this little, you go into the, the dark ride area, mm-hmm. and you're driving into ra- uh, the area around Radiator Springs and through Radiator Springs, and you, you interact with all the main characters right. in... Excuse me. In the movie, audio animatronic. Right. Then towards the end of that, you get the cars get separated into two tracks, and you get taken out. And you line up for a race. That's mm-hmm. where the test track part comes in. Okay. And it hauls ass. Yeah, because I know the original test track in at Walt Disney World. That's sixty miles an hour. I don't hits. think this one hit sixty, but it, 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 it's definitely faster than Space Mountain because it's, it's open air and it's not really much of a windshield. Well, right? that and and the points where you're coming around the track, you're doing like this. Oh, nice. So you're getting that high bank curve. So you're feeling that power as you're going around. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I haven't figured out where they take the camera yet, but there's an option to buy a picture at the end. (laughs) 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 And I was sitting here because I was on the ride thinking the wind's blowing. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm holding my hat. So I get off the car. We go look at the picture. All all six of us in our group Mm -hmm. got in the car. We get out. We're going, oh, do we want to buy the picture? And there's there's Nikki doing this with her hat, trying not to lose. And there's me doing this. Oh, my God, I don't want to lose my hat. We're like, no, we don't want to buy that picture. We don't want that picture. No. 
<laughs> so All right. if you're in Southern California and you want to go to, um, oh, it's okay. Uh, People are getting ads, yeah. No, 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 no. One of the, the oh, catchers it, who is Amy and her husband, um, she apparently 40. heard that it hits 40, which is fine. That's still, still five miles an hour faster than Space Mountain. Yeah. Which is pretty impressive. So if you're in Southern California and you want and you feel like heading on over to Disney's California Adventure, it's totally worth it. If you're a fan of the Cars movie, Cars movies, it's completely worth it. It's it's incredible. It's a lot of fun. Mm. It's good to see that the Imagineers are, like I said, bringing their A game and that they're actually trying to revitalize DCA. Because up until recently, DCA yeah. has been California light for Californians. It really has been. And I know that more than anybody else because I worked there for a year and a half. So <laughs> it's, it, it's, oh, it was so sad. But now they're actually putting money in and they're actually trying to make it a, comp- mm. a compatible park. So there's potential here. I've we'll got hope. We'll see what happens. I'm really pissed they took away Electronica. Uh, but, but I heard rumor it may come back. They're doing it, Mad Tea it, Party it, for now. Which kind of looks okay. Um, I'm kind of pissed, though, that It's I a Tim Burton candy rave. It is. And they said, oh, yeah, we're keeping the arcade. And I'm like, okay, cool. I can at least go in there. No, they're all Disney-themed versions of classic arcade games. Is Wreck-It Ralph in there? Probably, I'm sure, one way or another. Because that's going to be an awesome movie. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that movie looks awesome. i got to imagine. This hour brought to you by Disney. I'll say this before we move on to some anime. Um, okay. I gotta only imagine the the amount of licenses that Disney had to go through. To oh, for make, Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, okay, so Wreck-It we're switching Ralph. gears to Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah, just for a moment. And then okay, we'll yeah. if, you, if you guys get a chance, look it up. It's a lot of fun. It, 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 it's it's Tron meets video games meets uh, I don't know what how you describe it, but the, yeah, the licensing in, in, in the trailer control, yeah. alone, I recognized characters from Midway, Konami, Capcom, Sega, Sega. And, and, of course, Disney. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's Zangief. Just because you're a bad guy doesn't mean you're a bad guy. You know, it's just, what? <laughs> <laughs> the ghost from Pac-Man. Oh, that was good. And, and thanks to the promo, we now know that Zangief and Chun-Li are an item. That's right, because they're showing walking, they're down, showing walking yeah. downstairs to get an arm in arm. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Someone in the chat knows that... Hand step, where's Jason been to get? Oh, this thing? Oh, oh we're yeah. getting to that. Yeah. yeah. It's not just Jason. I got it, too. One of us. <laughs> um, just a bruise. That's all it is. No. Yeah, bruise. <laughs> right. right. Just briefly, we decided to go check out AM Squared today, or the Anaheim Convention Center. Um, now, we're not going to really talk about it too much, because I'll show you a review later on. But we went out, checked out. We mostly went there to hang out with, see some old faces. Yeah, um, a lot of the, not. for those of you who don't know, which I'm sure isn't many of you, but for those of you who don't know, AM Squared is a convention that last year made waves by taking on Anime Expo by being on its same weekend, which some people told them they were insane for. I was among them. Eh. But you got to admit, it got their name out there. It if nothing else, it got their name out. Bad pub is good. Is still uh, good pub. Any pub. I don't even know that it was bad pub. I think it was like, oh my god, jump up and down. Let me hear him jingle, because you know they took on the juggernaut. Mm-hmm. This is their second year. Um, they're back at Anaheim Convention Center. It's this weekend, so if you're in Southern California and you want to go to an anime con, go check it out. Hmm. Um, a lot of the people who run it are former Anime Expo staffers. Yeah. A few of them are current Anime Expo staffers. Mm-hmm. So it's people, you know, I've known for 10 plus years. And I, before I couldn't go because I was a paid employee of Anime Expo and there's a whole bunch of politics and BS there. Long story short, because we're not part of AX, we actually could go. We actually got to problem. go. So, <laughs> so um, I went and visited. It's a good, it's good, it's a good small second year con. It I is. I mean, if anyone, if you're, if you're walking in there and expecting to see wall to wall people or, you know, something the size of Anime Expo, you're not gonna. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a second year event. I'm estimating. Excuse me. I'm ballparking in the brief time we were there. We saw maybe two, three thousand attendees. Maybe, which is impressive for a second it year is. con. And their main draw is the on fact the that first day, on, on day the first one, day, yes, on a weekday. Yeah. Um, but that given aside, 
uh, one of AM Square's biggest things, biggest draws, I should say, is that the majority of the panels and events and locations and whatnot is absolutely free to go right, to. Exactly. You just walk in. There's no ticket. Now they do have a passport thing where you can get in exclusive um, events or priority the seating concerts, and some things. Stuff like yeah, that. stuff like that. So if you want to pay for that, you can go check it out. But if you want to go just to the panels and go to the exhibit hall, and uh, they actually have a brony area, which is cool. I really like oh, that. That was amusing. That is all free. So aside for parking, do you some a favor. Park Do not at the park at the Marriott. Yeah, park at the Sheraton. It's ten dollars there. If you go to the Marriott like we did, it's twenty five. Yeah, so it's 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 freaking <laughs> insane the parking. Yeah. <laughs> um. But it was a good. Sh- it, it was for a second year event. It was a good show. I think it's got a lot of potential. Mm-hmm. If they stick to their guns and keep moving forward, I think they'll build up an audience. They're doing. They're already doing better than they anticipated. Yeah. Um. For the for, especially for a Friday, mm-hmm. for day one Friday, they're doing okay. I think it's got potential. Um, we'll see where it goes. I mean, like you said uh, to me earlier, it takes about three or four years to gauge the where the con can go, and this is only year two. Right, so. and it also takes that much. It takes three or you know three to five years to to really get entrenched, mm-hmm. if you will. Um, and they're well on their way to doing it. I okay, mean, the people who run it care about it. They're passionate about it, mm-hmm. and that goes a long way. That really goes a long way. Okay. So, no politics here, guys. I think it's I think it's got potential, uh, and I've always said, and I will continue to say, there's room for everybody. Yeah. There's, if you more like, more than enough fandom out here to share. Yeah. If you like anime Los Angeles, anime Kanji, uh, Pacific Media Expo, if you like those kind of small cons and just enjoy that atmosphere, you're gonna enjoy ALA. Yes. Go check it out. Yes. So, and of course, in two weeks is Anime Expo. I know I'll be going walking around. Um. I, uh, X Games is going to bite you guys. X Games is going to be in... Ugh. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, because they, they've mentioned it here and there online, um, the X Games is the exact same weekend in the exact same location as Anime Expo this year. Um, the entire convention center inside is just Anime Expo. Mm-hmm. The moment you walk outside, though, you're going to have rally cars drifting past, you're going to have motocross, you're going to have all the stuff going on, the absolute crazy stuff. I think they're still doing the giant, you know, the vert get, ramp, the giant vert ramp across the street. I'm sure. Oh yeah, yeah, they're doing it. Uh, it's no, it's it's going to present a challenge. Um, the expo team has known about it mm-hmm. um, since you know we found out about it. So I say we because I was part of the team at the time. Five, six months ago. Oh God's no, it was earlier than that. We oh. found out about it last X Games. Oh okay. We knew about it. We knew about it as X Games was happening yeah. last year. So they've had plenty of time to plan around this, and. The, you know the sports bros and whatnot the, to to answer I, QAN. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be that bad. Um, yeah. I I would, you know, our the security team at Expo uh, is They're run by aware. Matt Thomas. Yeah. Great guy, knows his stuff. Mm-hmm. He does security for Westfield malls, all the Westfield malls. Yeah. The guy knows his stuff. Yeah, between so, him and Ray and the staff, they are aware of the, the concerns and they're beefing up security for it. They have they're doing everything in their power to address yeah. it. So the, if anything, you're not going to really interact with them too much if you don't if you want to. Sure, go out there and if you're of age, have a beer with them. Why not? But you're I'm having visions of regardless of their issue, the you know concerns. AX is doing everything they can. So I'm sure there's going to be you know some people or some naysayers. So there's going to be a lot of naysayers, I'm sure. But uh, we can only tell. It happens in two weeks. We're going to walk around. I'm going to see what's going on with that. Um, one thing I do want to mention going away from X Games real quick with AX is a panel that I'm doing. Nice. Please go so ahead. So I put in a request for a few panels with some of my friends. One was going to be a webcasting 101 with uh, Brian Yang, a good friend who also co-created AX Live. That would have been a lot of fun. Brian will be there. Unfortunately, our panel was declined, as were... I'm sure hundreds of others, so I'm not looking like, oh, why me? No, there's so many panels that put in requests, so we'll see what happens with that. 